guys what's up welcome back to another vlog today's video is sponsored by Squarespace so I want to thank them for sponsoring today's video I've talked about Squarespace a few times they're an all-in-one platform where you can build a website and I'll talk more about it later in the video so a lot has happened in the office since I last vlogged and I'm so excited to show you guys so I had my photo shoot this morning it went super good got lots of new content for the week and last night I was just browsing Target looking for another accent chair that would actually fit in this space and I found one that's like the exact same style as the other one but it's just a lot smaller so it's not quite as cute but it's literally a hundred dollars cheaper so as soon as the other one comes in on Thursday I'm just going to return that and we're gonna stick with this one so I just ordered it online on Target to be like picked up so I could just like drive up and they'll bring it out because Chad's on shift today and I didn't think I would be able to carry the chair out I wasn't sure how heavy it would be so after my photo shoot I went to Target and I did the little drive up thing and they brought it out and it was already put together. Like, how did I get so lucky? And here is what it looks like. It is so cute. It's just like the perfect little accent chair and I really feel like it goes with my theme. I can't remember if I showed you guys that I got pompous grass yesterday, but I did get some and I think it looks really, really pretty. I ordered this on Etsy and once I realized like how much this was, I actually ordered another bunch so that way I can make it a little more fuller. And then I also found this vase at Target today which is so beautiful so I feel like I really made out good I'm gonna pull this off so I can show you guys what it actually looks like a little bit better so it's just really cute and simple and then I also got a few little accessories in for my grid so I got this and I just decided to put my sticky notes in there and then this little shelf that you can put books on I also put some little Polaroids up of my dogs here's the current situation over here I just like have to have access to all of my like hair care products and my lighters in there for my candle and like my makeup wipes, hair ties and stuff like that. So because this desk has like no storage whatsoever, it's basically a table, I decided I would just use these baskets to kind of store stuff because I don't want to have it all crowded on top. I feel like I'm doing like another office tour right now, but I just want to show you guys a couple of things. So I ordered this off Amazon and it came in this morning. It's so pretty. It's just this little vase and I got this little fake plant from Target and I just stuck that in there I thought it looked really cute and that is it I decided not to use that wired basket for a trash can because I realized the bottom of it has no base so I got a trash can that's over there now that does have a base and it's black and that is pretty much it and I want to show you guys this cropped denim jacket that I am freaking obsessed with it's coming to Sun Bunny on our next drop which is going to be next Friday not this coming Friday but the following because I'm still waiting for a bunch of inventory to come in so I'm just pushing it back another week. But yeah, this light wash cropped denim jacket is in the drop and I am obsessed with it. It's so, so cute. I'm sitting here browsing Amazon, just looking at a bunch of little things that I think will tie everything together. So I ordered a new little pencil holder. It was only $8.99 and it has a gold bottom. So it's really simple, but it's acrylic. And I just think it's so cute. I got that because of this acrylic stand. I just feel like it'll look good next to it. And then I also ordered another mouse pad that's just black because I told you guys I'm trying to go more simple minimalistic to go with my whole theme here So I want to get rid of this. It's just too much color And then I also ordered a couple of these little wire baskets to go on my little wire grid I don't know what exactly I'm gonna put in here But I do feel like it will be useful and then the last thing is this little pencil cup thing I'm gonna put some highlighters or something in it and this is also for the grid packaging up a bunch of Sun Bunny orders and I was going to take them to the post office but it just started raining and there is a massive storm on the way so I really don't want to get caught out in that so I'm just going to stay home maybe I'll drop them off later or in the morning I am literally starving right now so we're going to have a little snack carrots and I'm gonna try this everything bagel hummus. Got myself a little snack. This is basically gonna be my lunch because it's so late and I'm not gonna eat anything big when I'm gonna literally be making dinner in a couple hours. So carrots, hummus, and whole grain wheat thins. And I'm also gonna have this pink lady apple kombucha. So I've just been sitting here on my couch for a while doing some emails 
and now I am about to talk to you guys about the sponsor of today's video, Squarespace. So if you guys aren't already familiar with Squarespace, it's an all-in-one platform where you can create a blog, portfolio, an online store. If you're someone who needs to build a website, Squarespace is the best place to get started. Squarespace has great site management that allows you to do everything from your cell phone. Social sharing is super important when you're starting a website and Squarespace makes it really easy with their social sharing options. And another great thing about Squarespace is how easy it is to import your content from places like Twitter, Instagram, and other platforms, you can have it all embedded into the footer of your website. So you guys should totally check out Squarespace. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash Melissa Lucy to save 10% off your first website or domain. And thank you again, Squarespace, for sponsoring today's video. I just tweeted this, and guys, this is the truth. I seriously feel like I'm struggling every day to come up with something interesting. My daily routine is just the same every day. So I just feel like I don't know what to do. a little stretch sesh I was gonna do yoga but I am so freaking sore that I thought that even yoga would be too much for me right now so I just decided to stretch out my legs because they really need it they're very very tight since I worked out for the first time yesterday in like two weeks it's good to get back into it but I didn't want to like push myself too far today and end up like pulling a muscle or something so we took it nice and easy but it's seven o'clock now so i need to feed the dogs and i need to figure out what i'm doing for dinner so i'm just making tortellini for dinner tonight with like a garlic butter sauce super simple because i'm on my own for dinner tonight and i never really cook anything crazy when it's just me I get this boiling here's the tortellini i'm using i just got this at publix and i showed it to you guys in the grocery haul i swear that chad like hides the olive oil from me because like this is me I cannot reach that. So I have to come over here and get the step stool. I know it's not that big of a deal, but I am lazy and I hate extra steps. You're gonna wanna get a frying pan and get that going on like low to medium heat. There's really no recipe to this. I just kind of wing it every time. So I'm gonna use like two tablespoons of butter, some garlic, if you have fresh garlic, that's preferred, but I'm gonna use this because I don't feel like dicing up garlic. Some shredded Parmesan cheese and some olive oil. Snacking on some watermelon while I'm waiting for this water to boil. I also put some of the garlic in there. I'm gonna saute it as soon as this pan gets hot. See, the problem when Chad is at work is I can never open anything without his help. We were going to result to stabbing it. So I strained the tortellini and just added it in here with a little bit of basil. And I'm gonna add some Parmesan cheese. And this is what the final product should look like. It's such an easy meal. Cheesy tortellini and just like a really simple sauce. out of the shower poured myself a little glass of wine this one is by a new brand I can't even think of the name of it but it's Sauvignon Blanc I'm probably saying that so wrong um, but it's a really good white wine and the face mask that I'm gonna do is one of my favorites the Clinique City Block purifying charcoal clay mask I'm going to tie my hair back first because I always forget to do this and then I get it in my hair this mask is one of my absolute favorites because you only have to leave it on for five minutes. So if you just want to do it at the end of the night, it's perfect. 
because I like to do a longer mask sometimes, but I usually like to do my face mask at the end of the night and I don't really want to sit with it on my face for very long. So I love this one because it hardens in like five minutes. I credit my clear skin to my good skincare routine. I never ever go to sleep at night with makeup on. I always moisturize every single night. I do face masks a couple times a week and I really try to take good care of my skin because I'm trying to have nice skin when I'm older. Oh, Chad's calling me. Hey baby. Why are you painting your face? I'm not painting my face. That's what it looks like. It's not paint. It looks like you're painting your face. I am with um some paint, some gray paint. Is it gray or is it blue? It looks like it's slightly blue. Yeah, it is kind of blue. How was your dinner? It looked good. It was so good. Like I. And the tortellini. Yeah, tortellini. Yeah. Tor what is it called? Tortellini. What is it called? Portaloni. Took my face mask off, moisturized my face, put a little bit of serum on. Skin feels really, really good. Thank you guys so much for watching today's vlog. Thank you again Squarespace for sponsoring. If you guys want to check them out, there'll be information in the description box. If you're not already subscribed, be sure to click that subscribe button and I'll see you in my next video.